Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a reaction video to Twana, or Tana, however the hell her name is pronounced. I'm going to be reacting to her trailer of her being playable, essentially. But before we get into it, I just want to say, if you want to hear me ramble and talk about, or ramble slash talk about Crash Bandicoot, you can go watch the Bandicast, which is a Crash Bandicoot podcast by my friend Destination Mark. So the link to that will be in the description if you want to peep it. It is right here. Okay, there we go. But yeah, if you want to watch this, then go ahead. You can peep it. The link to it will be in the description, as mentioned prior. Alright, let's look at this trailer. Put my headphones on. Oh, oh look at this outfit. Crash's outfit. <laughs> so good. The master of subtlety. Uh, that's right. <laughs> look at him. He's a charmer. Oh, that's cool. Hey everybody, welcome to PlayStation Underground. Before we introduce our developer guest from Toys for Bob, we're super excited to showcase a brand new cinematic from Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, featuring a certain character's very exciting return. So we'll stay quiet while playing that for you now. All right, here we go. Uh, thank you so much. Wait, Tana? But you're different. You're not from our universe. It's good to see you guys. It's what? been a long time for me. Oh, we lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what, did we like die or something? What? No, nope. No, but no, definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <clears throat> they the died. usual. A bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. Huh. So, uh, what you collecting? Crystals? Mm -mm. Gems? Masks. Ooh, fun. Well, good luck with that. <gasps> Wait, you're not coming? Bro, you know what? I'm not even gonna say what I just had in mind. Sorry, I fly solo. But I'll, I'll lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. <laughs> Yo, rewind, rewind, re motherfucking wind. Yo. Been a long time for me. Oh, we lost touch in your universe too, huh? Mm. Different. You're not from our you. Bro, her shirt looks clean. Universe. I like how um, you know what I really like about this design already. While the eyes and the head shape is a little like different for me, uh, I'm, I'm gonna grow to it eventually. Um, I like how like the yellow strands of her, of her hair and the blue strands balance with the uh, yellow and blue on her shirt, and as well as the, the blue scarf, which also like complements her blue jeans as well. Speaking of which, uh, her jeans have like uh, her jeans have like little tears in them and stuff, so that's pretty clean too. Um, but they died, bruh. They died in another universe. In your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what did we like die or something? What? No. Bro. <laughs> oh nope. No. What the fuck? Let's look at her gameplay. Let's get look. Let's look at her gameplay. Welcome, she everybody, to another quits. episode of PlayStation Underground. You got Tim and Kristen here. Hey. And we are so excited to be joined by Lou Studdard, producer on Crash 4, It's About Time, and Mandy Beninov, a writer on the game. Thanks so much for joining us for a look at Crash Bandicoot 4. Yeah, glad to be back. Great to be here. I'm glad she has a double jump. That's actually Well, Lou and funny. Mandy, we're absolutely honored to have you both on to reveal Tana in Crash Bandicoot 4, you know, first with that awesome cutscene and now with a first look at her gameplay. So, oh yeah, I loved her voice, by the way. Her voice was great. Where do we begin? Yeah, so uh, today we're super excited to be on PlayStation Underground revealing uh, kind of our last playable character. This is Tana. Yeah. Awesome. She's got a new style. It's exciting to see her like in this this version. Yeah, no, she's uh, you know it was really exciting for us to kind of re envision her role in the game, um, and so this is actually as you saw in the the cinematic at the start here, this is Tana from another dimension, <laughs> and so this is kind of our version of a, a unique kind of playable version of Tana. So does this mean that she was never ever saved in another timeline, or she like? got successfully 
experimented on in another timeline. It's pretty interesting when you factor in these different timelines with these characters. It like kind of puts it puts things into perspective. I'm not gonna watch the entire thing. I actually ended it at 247. That's 47 is my favorite number, so I mean, you know, it's whatever. But um, yeah, that was uh, that was actually really, 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 really interesting. Um, man. Um, since this is technically a separate Tauna, um, I guess I could add her to the list. <laughs> Look, if you know, you know. If you don't, then that's on you. But, yeah, so, um, great design. Love the voice direction. That whole cutscene was just enjoyable to watch. Like, I'm going to enjoy digesting all of this media when the game releases. This is probably the last thing we want to talk about when it comes to this game uh, in terms of things that have been revealed because I don't want to see everything. I want to soak in the, ex the experience as much as possible and I want to like feel refreshed. I don't want to be spoiled essentially. So that's just me, but yeah. So that's all I really have to say in regards to this. Twana looks great, sounds great. Um, yeah, this design is kind of growing on me already. Uh, solid, really solid, really fire. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next upload whenever, if ever, and you guys have yourselves a good one. Peace.